Vexation for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Harry, Elizabeth II will again impose the direct heirs on a photo. This Sunday, November the 8th, Elizabeth II will be surrounded by her son, Charles, and her grandson, William, accompanied by their wives, Camilla and Kate. As part of Remembrance Day, an event which Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will not attend, Remembrance Sunday will indeed take place confinement or not this thursday november the 5th until december the second minimum the english must remain confined to try to stem the second wave of the coronavirus regardless remember stay will go ahead as planned this sunday november the 8th elizabeth will be joined on the balcony of cenotaph by direct heirs her son charles and her grandson william they will be accompanied by their wives camilla and kate as Vanity Fair indicates, a way then not hidden for Queen Elizabeth II to remind her subjects that a direct line is in front of them and that Prince Harry is no longer part of it. He who last December was upset that the Queen gave her Christmas speech by omitting voluntarily or not to pose a photo of him and Meghan Markle by his side. Prince Harry had already been upset to see his grandmother strike a pose with Charles, William and George his three heirs without him it must be said that prince harry has his new life in the united states with his wife Meghan markle and his son archie a daily life that bears no resemblance to the one he had in england and that seems to please him despite the omnipresence of the paparazzi the couple have made two express appearances in the uk in recent months without their son were due to be back in london next january a compromised comeback due in particular to the health crisis affecting the whole world and the restrictions imposed on travelers. Meghan Markle, why she has not finished annoying Elizabeth II after the American elections. Meghan Markle is playing games with the rules dictated by the British Crown. Indeed, the spokesperson for Prince Harry's wife has revealed she intends to encourage people to get involved in politics, even though the US elections are over atmosphere. The ultimate provocation this Tuesday, November the 3rd, took place the american elections and Meghan markle was determined to vote concerns the tradition warns indeed that the members of crown of england cultivates a political neutrality in artist's mom therefore broke royal protocol as she had assumed in an interview with mary claire and voted by mail like millions of other voters exit political neutrality the wife of prince harry intends more than ever to engage in the political field as reported by the daily mail the spokesperson for the pretty brunette assured that the political activism of Meghan markle will not end after the american elections because she believes that it's very important to encourage people to get involved in politics if it means offending queen elizabeth ii being an active member of the society meaning take part in the democratic process it is therefore important to encourage people to get involved in politics said the spokesperson too harry has a keen interest in american sport sources close to sussex is assured by the daily mail that megan was impatiently awaiting the results of the u.s election from a mention in santa barbara they will continue to be the politically active in the months to come the spokesperson for the pretty brunette has already wanted and to clarify megan was an american long way before being a royal she would not have failed to vote in these elections no matter what where she lived and what place for harry if he left his royal duties at the beginning of the years it is not so far that he can vote even if he has developed a strong interest in these american elections says source did Meghan Markle break the rules of the royal family to get a vote? Like many Americans, Meghan Markle would have gone to the polls to choose the new president of the United States. A vote during the American presidential elections on Tuesday, November 3rd, going against the royal protocol. Has Meghan Markle broken British royal family policy again? As the US presidential elections took place on Tuesday, November 3rd, the Mirror reports that the Duchess of Sussex was eager to vote, according to some sources. She would have expressed her choice on the future American president in advance by voting by mail a preferred method during this election which is being held in the midst of a global pandemic but this gesture may well displease the United Kingdom while she had taken steps to obtain British nationality after marriage to Prince Harry Meghan Markle finally abandoned this neutralization project Archie's mom is therefore still an american citizen voting for a president is her inalienable right 
However, by going to the polls, Harris's wife again breaks protocol. Tradition has it that the members of the Crown of England cultivate political neutrality, a rule to which Queen Elizabeth II particularly holds. Thus, if the members of monarchy have the legal right to vote, by convention they never express themselves during the polls. Prince Harry has never voted. Make your own voice heard and your vote. By choosing to leave the royal family, Meghan Markle has however freed herself from certain rules imposed by the Crown. The Duchess of Sussex is no longer an active member of the monarchy and intends to take advantage of this newfound freedom of expression to make her voice heard. After having had to silence her options for so long, an activist at heart, the wife of Prince Harry, got involved in political arena as soon as the couple settled in the United States, a source told page 6. Meghan was an American long before she was a member of the royal family. She would therefore have nothing in the world failed to vote for this election whatever her place of residence at that time. Prince Philip too weak to reason Meghan Markle and Harry. A few months earlier, Prince Philip, although angry with Meghan Markle and Harry, had let the Sussexes leave Great Britain to settle across the Atlantic. A lack of reaction that would result from his age, Prince Philip 99, could not do anything. A few months ago, Meghan Markle and Harry left Britain to start a new life. Under the sign of financial independence in the United States, if it is bitter, the husband of Queen Elizabeth II would not have had the courage to fight to prevent the Mexit. A royal expert thinks she knows if he had been younger, he would have spoken to Meghan Markle, whom he doesn't carry in his heart, and Prince Harry in an attempt to chain them. Opinion on this matter. Her age is said to have prevented the Duke of Edinburgh from acting so that Meghan and Harry could change their minds. Royal biographer Ingrid Seward confided, she told Fox News, at his great age there was a limit to his involvement and yet he had tried before they left to give them some advice. The Sussexes then remained deaf to his advice. An unflattering comparison, this doesn't prevent him after the fact from telling Whoever will listen to how disappointed he is by the attitude of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, he went so far as to compare the former actress to Wallace Simpson, another American divorcee who had shaken the British crown years before, as Ingrid Seward, author of the book Prince Philip Revealed, quoted by the Daily Mail, already revealed. Wallace Simpson, the woman who had turned Prince Edward Aitis head, having abdicated out of love for her in 1936. Kate Milton and Meghan Markle, Victoria Beckham facing a tough choice as Brooklyn Beckham is set to marry his fiance Nicola Peltz. A question is on everyone's lips. Who will Victoria Beckham, the mother of the future husband, choose to invite to the wedding, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, or Kate Middleton and Prince William? Victoria Beckham is one of the most complex choices. If she is looking forward to the future, nuptials of her son, Brooklyn Beckham with fiance, the American actress and heiress Nicola Peltz, the guest list turn out to be a real puzzle as reported by Tetler. In question, the delicate question of the British royal family and the couples that Beckham's should invite to the wedding for months, the estrangement between the Sussexes and the Cambridges has been common knowledge. It is therefore impossible to bring them together at the same event at the risk of being causing discomfort. The last time the Fat Four were seen was last March in Westminster Abbey during the Commonwealth ceremony. The faces were contorted and the atmosphere deleterious. Out of the question for Victoria Beckham to repeat the experience and risk spoiling her son's ceremony, Victoria Beckham is considered a close friend of Meghan Markle. The couple attended their royal wedding in May 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, proof of the bond. That unites them, the Duchess of Sussex regularly wears the clothes created by the stylist in public, but Victoria Beckham is also clearly a historical friend of the British royal family. In the couple formed by Kate Middleton and Prince William in 2011, the ex Spice Girl had proudly attended the arm of her husband at their historic wedding in Westminster Abbey in London. One option considered still the marriage between Brooklyn Beckham and his fiancée should not take place until 2022 health crisis requires the couple preferred not to take any risk and postpone the wedding by then the fair four would have 
made peace probably. Another option possible, two ceremonies would be planned by the Beckham clan. A first party would be held in Florida and a second ceremony 